Hello guys, it is TJ Patterson here, welcoming you back for another great episode of Horizon Zero Dawn, the Complete Edition. And, uh, last time, uh, we went to do a, uh, Meridian mis mission, um, we tried to find Ursa as, as quickly as possible, I died a few times, of course, and, uh, the fact is that I was just banking on this woman to be alive for the longest time. She actually died right in front of me and uh, her brother, which really did suck. I mean, come on, Aaron wanted to find this woman alive, and now she's dead on the floor. Which is kind of fucked up in a way, but you know, you know, we can get through it, hopefully. Hello, what is this? The Liberation Scroll. Hmm. And the funny thing is, I, I mean, I can't believe it. Like, of course, not all stories have a happy ending, and I would have liked to see that story come to a happy ending, it, in a sense, because if you think about it, what's the point? What's the point of having the mission if she was just going to die anyway? I mean, it kind of gives clear to another good story arc where Aaron now actually has to take control of his actions and stop being a drunk all the time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this this poor woman risked her life. Now let's see what the king wants and what we can do to end this, uh, Shadow Karja threat. Because I'm actually interested. To claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. Hello. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Erend, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious. Yeah, that Our is. Our security kind of depends bold. on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy. Well, a moment. Please. With revenge, it does take a lot to to actually give the right to. When do we that. spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. You wanted to marry her, didn't you? Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? Honestly, no, she didn't. She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. You Find wanted to marry her, didn't bring you? him before me. He will answer for his crimes. See, here's the thing though. I think this man wanted to marry her. This is crazy. I find this to be very interesting. I really think this this guy wanted to marry that woman. And it would have fucking benefited that in case that he and Ursa wanted to marry each other to bring both the Osram and the Meridian tribes together. Sounds more appropriate than you might think. Again, this dude actually had lost a chance on probably true love because of this. 
again, which would have made the storyline a little bit more hectic. Though people do complain a little bit more about writing than they do about actual production. It, it's all a fucking mess. And let's see what we got here. So the warehouse is actually in the city. As far as I think I was concerned. What's their story? Well, we'll find out this time. Oh. This what is the, the place. Hell? You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Oh no! Don't set off any uh, fire arrows in there, then. That's gas. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? It's Doesn't a bomb, look too big. Right. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Place. It must be leaking from something upstairs. Damn. Some just tells me this is not gonna go well. I like I like Aaron's headband, head uh, gear. I meant to say. That's even a that's an even that bigger bomb. bomb. Off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, wait, where's the hell? Just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. Let's see. Do we have anything? If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Uh, hmm. Uh, can, can I contain it with um, freeze? Crossway, can I contend it with a, uh, a freezing agent? I'm probably gonna regret this later, but... Uh, uh. Oh, wait, it's, uh, it's telling me to go down here. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Oh yeah, because there's a... Okay, wait, hold on. Alright, what's up here? Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put the push the blades out the window. God damn it! Help so, me push this out. Okay, brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it, because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> Oh shit. Run! Which means we give off the signal and now Shadow Carter will be coming here. We did it! Durval's best shot. Or maybe the it's... still standing. This isn't over. Yeah. Durval said he'd make a Bob watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. It's a signal fire. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Dude, where are these AI, man? I can't fucking find them. Uh, where am I going? Nope. Investigate the area. Boot tracks. With just a bit of blaze in them. Has someone broken the ceasefire? Can I interest you in a reasonable share of the lucrative opportunity? Oh, there's these guys. 
I know something smells very fishy. He said he'd make a bad watch. Which means that that is a signal fire. Somewhat. And your vault might be coming here with a whole lot of fucking uh, robots. You know what I mean. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. And why the fuck would I want to do that? A translate inside. Another one of Derval's hideouts. Someone dedicated to doing that. Well, that's actually good. What is it? Pebbles? Alright, what is that? There's, some, there's gotta be something behind this bookcase. Or worse. Hold on. Oh, there is a downstairs. There's always a downstairs. I'm not sure what those are. They look like grapes, but they're too big to be grapes. This must be where Derval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Derval did find a way into the palace. Shit. He really wants a bot's head on a silver platter, doesn't he? <sighs> ah. There's the fucker. I think it's time to fight the fucker. Don't you? Oh, where are we going? Oh, I have to climb down. Okay. Because I need to get to that bridge. This man must have really loved the old ways. Wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quit carping, you chuff. Someone's got to guard their For later. Someone better guard both of here. Boom. Oh, what the fuck? intense. These guys are a little strong, but they're not that strong. I need to find a different uh, outfit that can actually withstand some tear damage. I might want to keep these on me, just in case. Anyways, that's a very good way to show that you can do things. Let's take this fucker down for good. Okay, wait. What did this king try to do? Establish peace to a rightful order that the Mad King wouldn't? The Look Mad King would do? Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father. So I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Uh, Something's wrong. Yeah, we disabled it, dumbass. It didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the Mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner. Oh, he's running like a pussy. Why didn't you just take some of them out, Aloy? That makes no sense. Here, let's disable this thing. Did Aaron really get knocked out? Alright, I, 
can't get like that. Hold on. How do I destroy this thing? Uh, hello? Uh, how do you destroy this fucking thing? I can't leave everyone at the mercy of that machine. I'm not trying to. What the? I thought there could have been another room. Oh, now there's a destroy button? Wait, hold on. Alright, good. There. I was about to say, what the actual fuck? Everybody's fucking... Ugh. They're like, Ugh, we can't get up. We're so high! Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Just because you can't kill his dad? Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. This is it for you! I've led an army. Killed Kestrels and Ravens. There's nothing. Oh. Oh. Can we finish this? I've got a Oh, hell no. Why, why? why does a bard always have his ladies? Kill Kestrels and Ravage. A savage is nothing. I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Oh, shut up, fucking shit talker. Wait, you talk shit, but you can't. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. I've got a sun god to kill. Keep your head down. That's what I thought, bitch. Bitch, this is what's gonna get you killed. It's not over yet, Nora. Are you sure about that? Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Oh shit, he's gonna suicide bomb himself. Damn it, damn it. Oh, damn it. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. This might go to those majestic murder. Hey, hold on, let me let me hope I can craft this shit. Damn it! Uh. Ah, those majestic murderous Glintox. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Too crap. 
boys. Damn, wild boys. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the oh, way. Like this. Wow. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is gonna really piss me off. Never do the work if you can ah, get a shit. machine to do it for you. God damn, luck is on my side right now. But that luck's gonna run out if I'm not careful. Oh, I have. Fun. Wait a minute. Do I have. Do I have a blast sling? Do I have anything for a blast sling? Yes, I do. So, no, I, I want. No, not modify it. Don't modify it. Uh, blast sling, blast sling, blast sling. I have a blessing. Okay, so I gotta equip this. I'm gonna push that with that. This could help. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Nope. Gotta think with a plan. Think with a plan. Think with a plan. Get him. Ah, damn it. Let's 
shot. I hope you like fighting these things because there's more in the way. Uh. This dude decided to pussy out. That's his idea of trying to win a battle. He pussied out. They're scanning for me. Oh, just die already. Ah! Those majestic, murderous glint hawks! Ah! Ah, uh, what the hell? Why was he pulling out playing with invisible walls? Ugh. took some time to do. I mean, my god, that... I'm surprised I didn't die. I'm glad I didn't die, actually. I can't handle another two-parter. I really can't. Ugh. Where's the bastard at? Where's that dying bastard? Time to die. As much oh, as I actually? wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up. Not this, you won't. Honestly. Oh, come on. Let him kill him. He just gave me hell. I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan hmm. in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just <laughs> like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Damn. Thank you. I mean, it's not killing him, but... You know, it's worth it. And didn't I shoot the soap? This... This ash... Asshole in the fucking head. Uh, I got an English today. I'm 20 fucking two years old. I got to Avad, Aaron, and I think that last guy. I forget, oh wait, uh, Derval is optional. Okay, let's talk to Avad. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. 
You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Uh, let's ask about you and Ursa. Were you and Ursa, you know... I'm hoping. I suppose it's obvious how I feel. How I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. About time he fucking admitted it. But we couldn't be together. Why? Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. Get the hell out of here. You would have reunited the, the clans. King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. Huh? And probably war with the clans. Oh, that's bullshit. Anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. Oh, that's just fucked up. And why would it start war? You would have united both the clans. Exactly it wouldn't have went to war. To Derval. For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Yeah, that's true. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. Oh wait, so wait. Shall we talk some more? Yeah, uh, one more question. Consider it staying. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Hmm. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You're strong, shrewd, and, and capable. Dude, the frickin' mouth effects. I could use someone like you at my side. Wait, what? He didn't use Ursa. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. Damn. I have to go. I understand. Wow, already flirting. Why do you want to flirt so bad, man? It's not cool. <laughs> They say talking to Derval is optional. But uh, I kind of want to talk to him so I can slap him in the mouth. I honestly want to slap him in the mouth. Can I get a chance to slap him in the mouth? <sighs> Let's just hope. Where are you, Aaron? You, now I can understand why there was Let's a whole a bunch of fan art of, no, uh... A colorful discussion. Now I know why there was a whole bunch of fan art of the, uh... Of the King and Aloy. That I searched up in Google. And no, it wasn't Rule 34, even though Rule 34 would have been... High underestimation. Let's start to revolve. Come to gloat, Nora. 
Well, as you can see, I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. Wait, hold on. Talk to Aaron. Which means I gotta run all the way back up these fucking stairs. Sweet Christmas. Sweet fucking Christmas. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. And I don't care. So I'm gonna go talk to Aaron real quick. Got my rattler, got my everything on. Let's find a way, because the mission's not over yet. I didn't get awarded the uh, experience points. Let's talk to Aaron real quick. And then we'll talk to the bastard. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. Yeah. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. Hmm. But she also told me to grow up. I've got to admit it burned a little when she said that, but I try to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? Hundred percent. You're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? No. You did but with Darrell. Hell, you did, yeah. Don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. <laughs> Imagine you crying. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. Oh, God. You we're told not to drink what anymore. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it, it won't, won't be, quick. be quick. I can live with that. <laughs> In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Hmm. Well, I'll see you later, my friend. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. <laughs> You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. But now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. That was actually cool. Hey, we became friends, don't we? Forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. <laughs> well, she likes me. All right. Yeah. Wow. Well, I did talk to Draval, and well, he ain't talking. Uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. I mean, uh, I hope you did enjoy it. This is actually a little bit more of a, a redemption story for Aaron. Not to mention, a, a, a pretty much a passing of the torch, just telling him to grow the hell up. But honestly. It's still good. I gotta honestly say that if I do ever get a chance to do another mission with him again, let, let's hope it's something exciting. Well, I'm gonna leave this off here, as I've already said before. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys the best. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, flex that like button. Please subscribe. Comment if you will. Tell me what to play next. Uh, I have a few games I want to kind of play also on the PlayStation, but uh, you, you guys got to help me out with this as well, because sometimes I might be not might Excuse not be me, able to play the game that you want me to play due to the fact that artifacts. that's it's just uh, that I didn't really, you know, find an interest in them anyway. But, you know, I, my, my interest is wide. And if you haven't already, please, if you haven't already, like my brother's uh, YouTube channel. He is Jayonic Blaze. He also does a lot of gameplay videos. Right now, he's still in the midst of doing a few other gameplay videos as we speak. And uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you can to make his channel grow. Do whatever you can to make my channel grow. Please help support us and small creators all around YouTube. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I am TJ Patterson. I am signing off. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.